Now today we're going to uh, talk a lot about uh, Rogersville, Tennessee, a little bit of the history of Rogersville, Tennessee, and some of the stuff that's still here in Rogersville um, that was uh, erected or built way back in the 1700s. And um, this spring park that we're going to go to today, the David Crockett Spring Park and Arboretum, is in the middle of Rogersville, Tennessee. And Rogersville, Tennessee is a very historic city. And um, David Crockett's grave is there, but it's not the Davy Crockett that we all know him from the Disney movies and the one that was the Wild of Frontier. It is actually his grandfather. And we're going to look into that and take a brief history of uh, Rogersville, Tennessee, how it started, some of the founding fathers, and look at some of the stuff that's still there today. And then we'll go check out the Spring Park in Arboretum. And Arboretum is a museum of trees. So we get to see some of those trees. And the park itself is pretty neat. It's, so stick around. Because it was confusing to me. I thought this was uh, David Crockett's grandparents and David Crockett's grave at first. And then doing the research, I found out a lot of information. So... There is uh, three David Crockett's. Uh, there's, um, it'd be the David Crockett that we knows. Um, uncle and grandfather, but we'll get to that. So the David Crockett uh, Spring Park that we're going to go to today is part of the property of David Crockett, the elder who was the grandparent of Davy Crockett that we all have seen in things like the Disney movie. He, you know, the one that's the king of the wild frontier. Davy Crockett was uh, named after David Crockett, who was killed by Indians, led by Dragon Canoe, in Rogersville in 1777, which at that time was still a part of North Carolina. Now, the elder David Crockett, Davy's grandfather, who Davy or David was named after, settled land in North Carolina and crossed the mountains into the present day East Tennessee. While David's oldest son, sons were away with the Revolutionary Army fighting at King's Mountain in 1777, the grandfather and grandmother, along with around two dozen other settlers, were massacred by Creek and Cherokee Indians. The Crockett's were, for the most part, French Huguenots, also, although the family had formerly settled in Ireland before they migrated to the Americas. The grandfather and his wife Elizabeth had seven kids. William, David Jr., but let's not get him confused with the Davy Crockett we know, that's still not him, nor it is his father, William, David Jr., Robert, Alexander, James, Joseph, John, and John, the youngest of the grandfather, is actually the father of the Davy Crockett that we all know well as the King of the Wild Frontier. So Davy Crockett's dad was John, and John's dad was David Crockett. But John, Davy Crockett's dad had a brother named David Crockett also. So this is where it all gets confusing. John was born in 1753. Now John is Davy Crockett's dad we're talking about now. In Frederick County, Virginia. John was one of the boys that were part of the Overmountain uh, men who fought in the Battle of King's Mountain. John's brother was wounded uh, in King's Mountain. The battle was October 7th, 1780. Uh, John's brother was wounded in the skirmish, and his brother James was taken prisoner and held prisoner for 17 years. Now, John married Rebecca Hawkins in 1770, and some research shows in 1779, some say as late as 1784, but their first child, um, Sarah Crockett, was born in 1780. So, 
They, I think they, they were, were married somewhere between 1784 and 1780. Uh, John and Davy Crockett's mom. It's kind. Of, it gets a little confusing. There's not a lot of uh, information out there. Now we're going to stop talking about Thomas, or uh, t stop talking about Davy Crockett right now, or John Crockett, and I'm going to jump to another man named Thomas Amos. Now you guys saw the Amos uh, Mill and Grist Mill that we went to. Um, if you haven't, go back and watch that video. But because Thomas Amos was a huge contributor to Rogersville, Tennessee, Thomas Amos, along with his wife Alice Amos, who was a formerly Alice Gale came to what is known now as Hawkins County, Tennessee in 1781. They then migrated to Sullivan County, North Carolina, shortly after the Revolutionary War. They settled at the mouth of the Big Creek River, where they built a stone house on a thousand-acre government land grant. Thomas also constructed a store, a blacksmith shop, a distillery, a lumber and grist mill, and a palisade to protect against Cherokee assaults. He also constructed a post office, a school, and a church was then added later. Thomas Amos also opened a tavern, which is probably what he's best known for, which became a public stage stopover. Some very notable people stayed at this in inner tavern. For instance, Andrew Jackson was one. Uh, Governor John Sevier. Sevier. And Eldon McCall, as well as Bishop, Bishop Francis Ashbury, where uh, it has been noted in the Good Bishop's Journal, with him saying, I quotations, spent the night at Amos Ca Tavern, Amos Tavern. And then he went on to note, he was well entertained for his money, but he had rebuked Amos for bragging about how much money he made from his brew. <laughs> now we're going to talk about one third, uh, another person, Joseph Rogers. Joseph Rogers is what the town, who the town was named after. Rogersville was founded in 1789 by Joseph Rogers, but it was settled by the grandparents of Davy Crockett in 1775. Joseph Rogers in 1764 to 1833 was his life, was an Irish-born pioneer and settler who, with his father-in-law, Thomas Amos, founded the town of Rogersville, Tennessee in 1789. Joseph, along with the other local settlers, laid out a plan for the town, and the town of Rogersville was chartered by the North Carolina General Assembly in 1789. The Crockett's could have scouted the area or made the move as early as 1743. There is a noted signature of David Crockett as a witness to a lease dated 1743 in Frederick County, Virginia, and Morgan Bryan was Daniel Boone's grandfather-in-law and Roger Turner. Bryan had come to the area in 1730 and brought settlers from Pennsylvania with him. Now we're going to go back to Davy and John. John married Rebecca Hawkins in 1780, like we talked about. And David, their son, John and Rebecca Hawkins, John Crockett, Rebecca Hawkins, their son David, was number five of nine children as well. They named him after John's father, the one in the Rogersville area. Davy, as we all know him, Davy, John's son, was born in Greene County, Tennessee, at the time also part of North Carolina, close to the Nolanchucky River, and, there, and near the settlement of Limestone. John struggled financially most of his life. They moved multiple times, filed bankruptcy, then finally settled in Morristown in the Southwest Territory, where John built it a tavern, kind of like the one they built, uh, Amos built in Rogersville, and it was on a stagecoach route in 1795 in Hamblin County, Tennessee, 
which is also known as the Tri-Cities, Kingsport, Bristol, and Tennessee VA, TNVA. In 1796, at the age of 12, Davy's father indentured him, which basically means uh, loaned him out as a helping hand to pay off a debt. So you would loan your children and the money that uh, would be paid to the father. Indentured him to Jacob Seiler to help pay off the family debt. Later on, his father enrolled Davy into a school. Davy got into a fight with the bully and then played hooky. When his father found out that he'd been skipping school, he was going to paddle him as a punishment. When Davy found out, he ran from his dad and he never returned until he was almost 20 years old. Now this spring park and arboretum is where the grandfather and grandmother of Davy Crockett lived, which would be John's, Davy Crockett's dad's dad. Okay, you guys following us yet? Lived and also where their graves reside to this day. So the grandparents of Davy Crockett, the king of the wild frontier, is in this uh, spring park. But when we stumbled on this, I had no idea of any of this. I know just a little more than a, than the old Davy Crockett movies Disney made, King of the Wild Frontier, and Davy and the River Pirates. That's one of my favorites. So you'll uh, hear me reference Davy repeatedly, uh, but I was incorrect. The proper proprietors definitely are a nice uh, place, and it's definitely interesting but this was Davy Crockett's grandparents, David and Elizabeth, and um, Thomas Amos and uh, Mr. Roger are the ones that helped form this uh, area. But David Crockett, Daniel Boone, all these guys were very um, influential in this whole area. And the fact that all these people had nine kids is really amazing. So, traveling, working hard, fighting off Indians and having nine children, building cabins. What an amazing history. Um, let's go check out this spring park and arboretum. Got some big open areas out here. Just east of town, Rogersville, Tennessee. We're going to go check out... Uh, historical site. Alright, we're now on Davy Crockett Street. And this is the Crockett Spring Park. What did that say? Arboretum. Arboretum? Arboretum. This is where Rogersville began in 1775. Right here, I don't know what an arboretum is. Comment below if you know what an arboretum is. All right, so we're at the Davy Crockett Springs and Arboretum. And an arboretum is a basically, in a sense, a museum of trees or plants, special species. So apparently they use uh, tires. But look at this beautiful um, creek, a bridge there, a little bridge here, and the spring must come right through there, run all the time, feed this, pretty huh, it's clear, you guys want to go see how clear this water is, alright, Davy Crockett Springs, you're going down in. that band here I know they did back in the day man David Crockett had it going on didn't he is this his grave site over here white fringe tree. oh yeah white fringe tree so they just call it what it looks like 
Are there plaques on every one of them? Nope, I don't see one there. That was helpful. No plaque there, so we'll call this one green oval leaf. And here's the cemetery. There's a concrete um, picnic table. Is there a way to get in? Or do you have to look from the outside? I don't know who... Oh, there are steps over here. Let's go see. This smells delicious. Like honey. Whoa. Pretty cool grave sites. Look at these neat houses right here. Private property. Oh. Yep, you can still get in. Ooh, there was an animal. Maybe it was a snake. Or a lizard. Alright, what we got here? Here lie Davy Crockett and his wife. Grandparents of Davy Crockett who were massacred near this spot by Indians in 1777. The Division of History, State of Tennessee, 1927. So Davy Crockett and his wife and the grandparents of Davy Crockett who were massacred near this spot. Wow. Hugh Campbell departed this life September 7th, 1804 at the age of 42 years. And you can see they've repaired some of these. This is Charles J, son of John Elizabeth King J, born. And there's another rock there for somebody. And which one, what are these? Mary Rogers, the daughter of Thomas Amos. And Joseph Rogers. This one's really ornate. He's like, do this up. Davy Crockett's gravestone isn't very ornate. And I can't read these. That one I can't. What's this one say? Joseph Rogers. Elizabeth Rogers. Rachel, who died August 21st, 1855, in the 11th 11 year, year of, of her, her age. age. She rests, we trust, in the bosom of him, him who said, Suffer not the little children unto me. To come unto me. Suffer the little children to come unto me. So cool, this is amazing. Davy Crockett's uh, Cemetery. And you can hear church bells. Here's the path into the park, I think. By the cemetery. Plays a little more of the song every hour. I'm guessing uh, it's about 5:45, so 45 minutes past the hour of five, and they're letting us know. All right, let's go see if we can find a spring head. So pretty. Look how clear the water is. What? Swimming. Need to pan some gold. Look, there's some concrete from a trough or something. Are those houses part of this? Or is this just the spring right here? 
Oh, I found there's minnows down in there. That's what I saw then. I thought they were that. I want to go to the other side. Think I can jump across this? There's a bridge. I want to go right here. Oh. Right, I'm gonna put this down here. You guys can see these min minnows. Swimming. Just us, the gypsy and the vanilla gorilla. No need to worry. Little black shells everywhere. Not sure, I'm supposed to be walking on this side. Not sure where this thing starts, though. Maybe up here. There's an old foundation up here. But this is Davy Crockett Spring. That's where he got his water. That's what gave him his fighting spirit right here. Grin down a bear. There's mushroom growing. A seashell. Maybe don't screw it into the tree. And this is the foundation of something maybe that he had, apparently. Because they haven't done nothing with it. And excuse me. Got some rock walls back here. Make it kind of like a canal. Made the spring like a canal. And look, this bridge goes right to this person's house and they got a door. Apparently you can't go out that way. Look at this tunnel. Isn't that sweet? I want to go down in there so bad. But spring must go up that way. What do you think this was? What do you think this was? What is it? Oh, there's some bigger fish down there. And those little shells or clam shells are everywhere. Everywhere. Well, it goes that way further and they got that door locked. Because of that property right there, I'd imagine. Oh, Well, this was something at one point, but I don't know what it was. And I don't see anything about it. Interesting. Look at this tree she's off. It's a gum tree or something. It's huge. Got these, uh, they're like paper. Smells good. And they got all these big things on them. What are those? Something Davy Crockett like, maybe. He's got all kinds of great trees up in here. It's a 
Well, Tammy looked up that tree. It's a southern magnolia. All right, we did a full loop, and there's uh, there's that funny uh, foundation over there, and the creek runs all the way down through there, and then this creek runs this way. They must meet somewhere down in here, huh? Yeah, right there by the bridge. They meet right by the bridge. Deer tracks. American what? This is American hornbeam. Look at these, how the branches grow, all weird and funny. And that elm slippery. See, there's all these little black uh, shells or whatever they are. Here we go. Alright, so Nathan says he's going to come meet us at the hotel tonight. Uh, he's going to get off the road earlier than he thought. And it works better for his schedule. So we're going to see him tonight, later. Davy Crockett. The legend. I drank from the same spring that Davy Crockett did. Davy Crockett drink from it today, but I did. So the old mill square is right on this main road that you're coming into Rogersville, and directly behind it, Caddy Corner, is the Davy Crockett Springs, where Rogersville began. That's where it all started, guys, for this town. And I got a drink from the same spring Davy Crockett did. Are you kidding me? You see the steeple on a church is so that everyone can find it. Anywhere you're at in town. And this historic church sticks up. And you can see it just about from anywhere. Well there you go guys. That's episode 16 of our TNT series. This was Rogersville, Tennessee. There's a whole playlist of our trip to Kentucky, Tennessee. A lot of good vlogs in there. Hopefully you guys check those out. Hit that subscribe button for us. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like button for this video. Share it out if you can. We'll see you on the next one, guys.